Hello everyone who is a subscriber to our channel Rudnev and Kettlebells. There are five life hacks about a long cycle. First, some information about me. I am Ruslan Rudnev, uh, master of sports in kettlebell sport, bronze medalist of the cup of the world. I am the son of Sergei Rudnev. He constantly contacts with his English-speaking friends and his English is better than mine. I want to ask you not to judge me for my pronunciation and for possible often glowing video. I will learn English with you. This is one of the reasons uh, we created English language channel. I need your support. And let's start. Schwarz. So, these five elements are not key points in the technique of a long cycle, but I tried them myself, my students, and I realized that they make the process much more easy. The first life hack. You should drop kettlebells in the backswing from the position of fixation without stopping at the rack position. I think this is the most important element. If you make this pause, you will lose additional energy at this part. Then you will lose more energy for dumping kettlebells from the rack. And the most important thing is to spend time for rest after the clean, before jog. That is, it is better to fully relax once before the jog after the clean, than twice a little bit after the dropping the kettlebells to the rack before dropping in the backswing and the before the jog after the clean. So, the flight time of kettlebells from the fixation to the backswing is a good possibility for relaxation. The second life hack is to make an elongated fixation and try to relax your legs as much as possible. When doing a long cycle, your legs constantly do an enormous amount of work. The only phase of this exercise, when you can completely relax the muscles of your legs, is fixation. I notice that if I completely turn off my knee joints and perform two cycles of breathing during the fixation, my legs do not lose walking capacity for a longer time. For example, when performing a classic jog, it is better to perform one cycle of breathing during the fixation so that your triceps do not get tired. When performing a long cycle, the triceps have an additional opportunity to rest during the backswing. Therefore, you can lengthen the fixation due to the second cycle of breathing. The third life hack is to step inward during the clean and step outward during the dropping kettlebells uh, to the backswing. When doing a jog, I prefer to put my feet at shoulder width to increase the efficiency of the legs during the bump than with sitting the feet wider than shoulders. Jump effect. But I also need to have enough space between my legs for two kettlebells during the backswing. Therefore, I perform a step inward during the clean and a step outward during to dropping kettlebells from the rack to the backswing. I switch my right and left legs with each exercise cycle. Also, an extra bonus of this element is an additional opportunity to relax the muscles of the arch of the foot and improve blood circulation of the muscles of the lower part of your body. This is especially noticeable after the fifth minutes of exercise. The first life hack is to use calf muscles during the clean. Many kettlebell lifters use only quadriceps, low back muscles, rhomboid and trapezius muscles when cleaning kettlebells. However, they ignore the use of calf muscles. The calf muscles are the most enduring large group of muscles of the human body. They never get tired. Therefore, when doing the clean, I walk my shin as if I am jumping. By the way, this movement is well combined with a step outward and inward. The fifth life hack is to relax your fingers flexor muscle maximally while holding kettlebell at the rack. 
I put the handle on the handle while holding the kettlebells at the rack and use only the little and ring fingers during the grip. After bumping and during the fixation, I hold my palms open. My fingers relax it and slightly bend. I try to relax my fingers flexor muscles as much as possible to maintain my ability to grip during the back and forward swings. I finish my lesson. If you have any questions, you can ask me. I hope my advices will be useful for you. My dad and I will be grateful for your comments, likes, reposts and support. Follow us. You can also ask me and my dad about online training. Goodbye everyone. Okay. <laughs>